the truck was just facing up and she was trying to jump out of the truck. I was just screaming for her. And so I was just really scared. Maria Valdez screamed so much she lost her voice. Today she stood next to her two daughters, including six-year-old Jaylee, and relived the unbelievable. And she was screaming, really scared, and she had a bloody nose and her lip was really swollen. So. Valdez told us she reached up and her daughter jumped into her arms. Moments earlier, the truck was in the driveway. Mom had daughter safely loaded in and went back inside to grab her nephew. Just started walking out and before I knew I could hear her screaming my name, like screaming mommy. And so when I looked outside, the truck was gone. Somehow, Jaylee got the truck in reverse. Mom doesn't know how it ended up going forward down the hill and up the retention wire. Thank God she missed the trees and everything. They're right there. All right, you ready? We found out for ourselves just how fast a car could go down the hill. No stepping on the gas, and we quickly hit 23 miles an hour by the time we reached the pole. The vehicle struck another vehicle, a building, or even the telephone pole rather than the retention wire, there would have been injuries. Despite a recovery operation that involved two tow trucks to get the truck down, it's drivable. Mom says little Jaylee is just a little rattled. All in all, a fortunate end to an unexpected first lesson in driver's ed. I would always just tell her, don't ever touch that, don't ever do it. But I guess it just in a blink of an eye, lesson learned never to do that again.